hello guys so in this video we will solve this problem we will read the problem statement first Anna and Brian are sharing a meal at a restaurant and they agree to split the bill equally Brian wants to order something that Anna is allergic to and they agree that Anna won't pay for that item so Brian will eat something which Anna will not eat and Anna won't have to pay for that item so Brian so if they split the bill Brian always has to pay more than Anna as Brian is eating something which Anna is not eating so if the Brian calculates Anna split if Anna split is correct then if we should return bon appetit and when Brian calculated Anna split is not correct then we have to return the fund which Anna has paid more than her split so this example explains that explain that phenomenon where they order three items which in which this item which is on second index Anna declines to eat so Anna split will be the addition of first two items divided by two equal to three. So and so we will jump to the function description. Bill is an array of integer representing the cost of each item they order. And k an integer representing the zero base index, the item Anna doesn't eat. So the k is an integer of an index of this bill array which Anna doesn't eat so Anna doesn't have to pay for this item so P is an amount of money that Anna contributed to the bill if Anna's contribution and Anna's split is equal then we have to print bon appetit and when Anna's split and Brian's calculation is different then we have to return the fund Brian has to return to Anna so we will jump to the function so we need a variable to store the total bill which is equal to sum and we need another variable to store the Anna share according to us that is fair share in this case represents the index of an item which Anna doesn't eat and this P represents the amount Brian charged to Anna if Anna's share and B is equal we have to print bon appetit and if Anna's share and B is not equal then we have to print the number which Brian has to give to Anna so we have to run one loop to count the total bill So this will count the total bill. So let's consider half share equal to sum upon two and Anna share will be half share minus the bill of K index divided by 2 <clears throat> so if Anna's share equal to equal to B then we have to print bond update 
else we have to print the amount which Bran has to give to Anna. So it will be bill of k divided by 2. So our function is completed, we will run our code. So first two test cases are passed, we will submit our code. So all the test cases are passed, so our code is running. And if you want more videos on HackerRank like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.